Hey guys, how you doing? So, Fallout New Vegas. It's 2020. Lots of new games are coming out. Well, not lots, but some new games are coming out. But, for those of us that love Fallout and Elder Scrolls, there aren't that many, well, let's just say viable options. <laughs> um, and within the Fallout community, this game is, is considered by many. Mm. I gotta love the coffee. This game's considered by many to be the best of the Fallout series. I'm not one of them. Um, I really like this game. I really enjoy it. However, um, the best Fallout game? I don't know about that. Uh, but it's damn good. Okay. Really good. Um, so if you are... Oh, come on. If you're hurting for a Fallout game, and you played 3, and you played Fallout 4, maybe you even suffered through Fallout 76 like I did. you need to play this game. Um, it's not perfect. It has flaws. As you can see, it's not the best looking game anymore, but this is a terribly old game. You know, this, this game is 11, 12 years old. And so if, yeah, the, the textures are, you know, this is with MNC's um, medium texture pack. So, these are upgraded textures. It looks worse than this. Unmodded. I am playing modded Fallout New Vegas. I followed a YouTuber by the name of Gopher. And he really seems to know his shit when it comes to modding uh, Bethesda games. He's got a lot of videos on how to mod this game, how to mod Fallout 4, and how to mod Elder Scrolls. He's probably got more. I just I haven't seen them all. But he really knows what he's talking about. So I followed his instructions to the letter. And it's it's worked brilliantly. Um, so go go check out Gopher. Um, I'll put a link to his uh, Fallout New Vegas uh, playlist. I'm shooting coyotes with 308 JSP. Because <laughs> I can. <laughs> Um, so let's, let's get started with the review. What is Fallout New Vegas? And I think the best way to answer that is to compare and contrast it with its peers. And Fallout doesn't have that many peers because Fallout is one of the greatest, um, series in PC gaming history. There just aren't that many games that can stand next to these games because they're so amazing they're so important um, so let's compare fallout new vegas to fallout 3 fallout 4 skyrim elder scrolls um you know maybe uh witcher you know, a Far Cry is kind of like this. Far Cry 3, Far Cry 4, Far Cry 5. Um, those aren't... Those are kind of RPGs. Uh, but they're, they're first-person shooter games with RPG elements. So it's, it's pretty close to this game. So why do people love Fallout New Vegas more than they love, say, Fallout 3? And I think the reason is... Questing. There is so much to do and see in this game in terms of running quests. There's just gobs and gobs and gobs and gobs of content. Uh, there are multiple factions. Those factions have storylines. Um, and I think people who like to quest and who like to uh, I'm going to air quotes here, roleplay, are drawn to this game. 
you can I won't I won't do spoilers but you've basically got the NCR the New California Republic and if you've if you haven't played uh, Fallout 1 and 2 you might not have heard of the NCR they are basically and I'm not a I'm not a Fallout lore master but they are basically the new political construct on the west coast of the United States and so the NCR has moved into this area and begun to establish itself as a political uh, power. So you got the NCR. You can ally with the NCR if you want, or you can oppose the NCR if you want, or you can ignore the NCR if you want. It's your nickel. It's your dime. Do what the fuck you want with it. Um, the other, the other big faction is Caesar's Legion or Kaiser's Legion. They some of them pronounce the the C with a hard, as a hard C, and so they come out with Kaiser, which I think is pretty funny. It's just it's it's just a neat little bit of world building that, um, I you know I think is well done. So anyway, you got Caesar's Legion. They're a force from, I want to say Arizona, New Mexico, and uh, so this 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 uh this military strong man who calls himself Caesar, or Kaiser, has uh, forged, I'm not going to say an alliance, he's basically forced a bunch of tribals into this, um, again, <coughs> a political entity. Um, they're basically insane, maniacal slavers. They torture people, they crucify people, just like the, um, the Romans of old did. Uh, the new Romans don't do that. They drive around on scooters and say, Ciao! <laughs> um, and so you got Caesar's Legion, NCR. I consider Caesar's, Le Caesar's Legion to be the bad guys. But that's my take. You know, if you're, if you're a slaver, I kind of consider you an asshole. Um, there is some effort to add a little subtlety and complexity to that uh, relationship and so sometimes you get to see some of the flaws of the NCR and you do get to see some of the positive attributes of Caesar's Legions but <laughs> there aren't that many so <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry but it's, it, if, if you ally with Caesar's Legions you're doing an evil playthrough okay um there is uh, there's the Brotherhood of Steel so I think people will be happy Brotherhood of Steel people will be happy with them um, now the thing about the Brotherhood of Steel if you're not paying attention you can miss them I did on my first playthrough when the game first came out long long time ago and I just wasn't paying attention to the clues and I completely missed the Brotherhood of Steel in my first playthrough. Um, now that's that's partly my fault. You know, I'm not I'm not criticizing Bethesda on that one. I'm just saying, you know, if you don't pay attention, you can miss them. And you know, the Brotherhood of Steel are they are what they are. You know, um, I think they're an interesting faction. Uh, some people love them, some people hate them, and then some people just kind of meh. The Brotherhood of Steel. I'm I'm kind of one of the meh people. I, I definitely don't hate them, but I definitely don't love them. Um, and this is a kinder, gentler Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Um, they get a little rougher in Fallout 4. A little rougher. They 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 have a a different leader. So anyway, so this Brotherhood of Steel. Um, there is a remnant. Uh, they're called the remnants, but they're they're from the Enclave, and so the Enclave was a, was the major bad guy in Fallout 3. There is an Enclave uh, faction here. Now, once again, if you're not paying attention, you can miss them. And I did miss the remnant not only in my first playthrough, but in I think my second playthrough. <laughs> uh, I didn't catch on to the remnant until much later in my Fallout New Vegas uh, playthroughs. Um, so, 
people who love this game, I think they love it for all the quests. There are just... I don't know what the actual numbers are. I didn't research that. But I promise you, there are many, many more quests in this game than in uh, Fallout 4 and Fallout 3. And they're longer. And, you know, I'm going to be honest. For the most part, they're better. Uh, that's a mod, by the way, that, that menu that pops up. There's some really good quests in here. There's probably some of the best questing in Fallout, in this game, in, in all of Fallout. Well, I can't say that for Fallout 1 and 2 because I don't remember Fallout 1 and 2 that well. I played them a long time ago, and I won't be playing them again anytime soon because, to, 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 to be perfectly honest, I'm super done with 3D isometric. I just, I just don't like it anymore. <laughs> I, I just don't like it. I've tried and tried and tried. Um, I may take a shot at Wastelanders if it goes on sale. Uh, I've heard really good things about that game. And, and I I believe that it is a... I feel confident that Wastelanders is a good game. I just don't know how much me and third-person is isometric are going to get along. Um... So, this is a great questing game. This is a great uh, great game for factions. Great game for role-playing. Oh, oh, come on. Okay. So. Uh, Fallout 3 is not the biggest Fallout world I've ever played in. But it's pretty darn big. You can, you can see. Uh, and there's... There's gobs and gobs of stuff here to do. Um, you really should be able to find something to entertain yourself with in this game. Um, now, some bad things. The gunplay in this game is really bad. You need to mod this game. You you really don't want to just grab the, the the Fallout New Vegas, you know, big edition on Steam. And you should, but you don't want to grab it, install it, and just play. You want to grab it, install it, and then go go follow go, go follow Gophers series and mod it. Because um, a lot of the mods are going to fix the abysmal gameplay, uh, the gunplay in this game, because it is absolute trash. Uh, Fallout New Vegas has, in my opinion, the worst gunplay in all of the modern Fallout games from Fallout 3 forward. It's just terrible. It, and, and even modded, it can frustrate the fuck out of you. You know, I'm sitting here, uh, as you you know, I have hundreds in every single skill. Every skill is 100, except unarmed. And unarmed will be, let me see here, unarmed will be 100, okay? Um... And it's just the 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 gunplay in this game is just bad, you know. It's really really bad. Um, so that's a negative. Um, it does crash even even today. Even using you know I've got the unofficial patch and I've got all these other patches. Um, you know I can. I can play Assassin's Creed Odyssey for 200 hours and I'll get one crash. I've had five crashes in this and two of them were hard locks, forcing a reboot. That's bad. That's really bad. I mean, imagine if the game wasn't modded and wasn't patched, you know? It's just, it's, it's, it's buggy, you know? People call them bug Thesda. I don't agree with that. I think people are being snarky little bitches when they say that. But there is some truth to it. You know, there's always some truth behind some of these less than flattering things that people will say about other people and other things and blah, blah, blah. You know, there's always some truth to it. And there's some truth to calling Bethesda Bugthesda because their games do ship buggy. Now, their games also ship with incredible scope. 
an incredible vision. Um, but, you know, as with, you know, anytime somebody uh, tries to create something fantastic and really tries to push the boundaries of what's possible, there, there are usually hiccups along the way. Um, this this uh, vision is because of the armor I'm wearing. Uh, so I'm wearing this. Um, it gives you sneak sight. So if I'm not sneaking, that's what the game looks like at night. Um, so that being said, this it is buggy. It has crashed. It has locked up. Um, I have a stable system. You know, I'm playing on a computer that I built four years ago. Uh, I have games, I have modern games that run that crash maybe hell with Witcher 3. I don't think Witcher 3 ever crashed on me, you know. So, just keeping it real, being honest. Um, let me see if I can pick him off. He's animating, let me go with this one. Really? That That is a death call, right? <laughs> Um, yeah. And a lot of times when your enemy is running, you can't hit them. It's just, it, it'll, ugh, it, it makes me so angry. Um, so, you know, if you've only played Fallout 4, and then you come to Fallout New Vegas you could be frustrated by the poor gunplay, okay? I still think you should play it because there's so much greatness here. There's so much fun to be had here, so much enjoyment. Um, you really shouldn't miss out on this if you like Fallout 4, okay? If you like Fallout 3. But the gunplay is, is it's, it's bad. Okay, um, the the character building system, the leveling up, I like it. Uh, you might not like it. So you know we still have our we have our specials, but your special stats mean more in this game than in Fallout Four. Um, this is a carryover from Fallout Three. So if you played Fallout Three and you're coming to this, oh, I'm, I'm irradiated. I should do something about that. Do -do 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 -do. And there we go. That's what 100 medical skill will get you. So, the special system is back. Um, I like that crit chance is tied to luck. I just, I just like that. You know, I think it's a, it's a. I think decoupling crit chance from intelligence is a great way to. If somebody wants to play a dumb character, they can do it without giving up their crit chance. And I'm looking at you, Outer Worlds. Um, which, I love Outer Worlds. I have a lot of videos on Outer Worlds. But I think locking in crit chance to intelligence is a bad move. I like having luck. Um, agility, not only does it... Um, uh, so you can see here how long you can sprint, the number of action points. For I don't like that, but... You know, if you're doing a VATS build. Uh, Charisma. Um, it gives... It also buffs up your, your companions. So that's something to think about. And this is melee, and then this is... Um, now, I think I like perception. What, what perception does passively... If you look in the bottom left corner here... <coughs> uh, watch these, these death claws. Once I get close... If I had... See, see they, they show up. I think that's awesome. And I missed. Lord of Death. Say <laughs> so it's it's going right well and I hit him. And so that's what perception does. It helps you spot your, your enemies at long range. Okay, so then once you're through specials you come to skills, okay? This is like Fallout 3. And so your skills go from 0 to 100 or 1 to 100. Yeah, yeah, super low to 100. And what I like in this game is I like there's no heavy weapons skill. 
And so if you want to be good with a Gatling laser, buff up energy weapons. If you want to be good with a minigun, buff up guns. I think that's a better way to do it. I don't like them decoupling heavy weapons from their smaller, lighter cousins. Um, you know, lockpick helps you pick locks. Medicine helps you heal better and remove more rads. Uh, you know, repair is a big one in this game. So this is a new system, and it's not a system they carried over into Fallout 4, which is interesting to me. You have to you have to repair your shit in this game, okay? And so you come here and you look in the upper right-hand corner. It says maintain R, okay? So I can hit R, and then I could break down. I could burn one of these, and you can see the effect on the right. Um, and so you have to constantly fix your weapons and fix your armor. Uh, this is the best armor in the game, by the way. Um, and then this is a close second. <coughs> this is for you light, light armor people. Um, and so your skills drive the behavior of, like, let's say, your guns, okay? And so it de determines the effectiveness. And so the damage you do and the accuracy of the gun goes up as you increase your gun skill. You know, sneak. You get better at sneaking. But it's still one of these modern Fallout games, and the sneak skill isn't as effective as I wish it could be, or as I wish it ought to be. Uh, I know standing out in the open, in broad daylight, not being seen, isn't terribly realistic. But, come on, guys. It's a video game, you know? It's an abstraction. I also hate how oftentimes in Fallout New Vegas, you get drug in to melee range against your will. And so for stealth snipers who are, must, you know, let's just be honest, we're, we're glass cannons. It's it's a major pain in the ass. Now, there are ways to mitigate that, but it's annoying. I, I don't like it when games fail to allow you to play the way you want to play, where games force you to play the way they want you to play. And I think that's a major failing in game design. Um, you know, we have the we have the three pillars. You know, we have we have stealth, we have combat. And then we have, well, what's the third pillar? Stealth combat. Oh, crap, I'm, for, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> I may think of it later. But, you know, when it comes to going loud and, you know, just, just using brute force and in your hit points to get through things, um, this game has that. And this game has stealth, but it just isn't as effective as I think it ought to be. You know, I look at my stealth sniper I can build in uh, in Fallout 4 and in Fallout and, and in the Outer Worlds. I look at how stealthy I can be in a game like Deus Ex uh, Human Revolution. Oh, watch this. Let me get out my new gun. Or new weapon. It's not a gun. Oh, where'd it go? Red glare. <laughs> this is pretty funny here. It'd be better if I had demolition expert, but red glare is pretty funny. <laughs> this is from Lonesome Rug. Um, but I really wish sneaking and stealth were stronger in this game. Um, I found like a game like Assassin's Creed Odyssey where I could build the stealthy character I really wanted to play. And I couldn't do that. You, you, it's, it's hard to do that here. You can do it. You can be stealthy. Um, but it's to me it's harder really it's harder than it ought to be. Okay? So, that's one thing that I kind of ding. Because, uh, see, Fallout 3, 
stealth is 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 equally let's just say um equally as un I'm not going to say unimpressive but lacking in efficacy but in Fallout 3 when you get Operation Anchorage terrible DLC that it is it does have good loot at the end and it has the Chinese stealth suit and so if you always wanted to be the, the, the super sneaky ninja you can do it in Fallout 3 once you get the Chinese stealth suit oh these guys aren't aggro oh huh. forgot about these guys what do you want? I don't want to fight this don't right leave now. It. Okay. So, that being said, um, you know, straight up go live combat, perfectly viable. Melee combat, I can't say. Um, you know me, I, I normally don't do melee, and the same is, the same holds true here. I just normally don't do melee. Uh, I'm not sure how effective a melee build could be. Probably on normal, you're probably fine. But on higher difficulties, I don't know. Um, now, so why should you buy Fallout New Vegas in 2020? Because it's a great questing game. It's a great open world questing game with lots of content, lots of good content, fun characters to meet, um, in the Fallout universe. You know, if you love questing and you love the Fallout universe, this game is a no-brainer. It's a must-buy for you. If those things aren't true, then the, the recommendation becomes a little less clear. Um, if, if you really demand rock-solid, tight gunplay, from your from your games this game could frustrate you so you're gonna have to think long and hard about that before you pull the trigger ha 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 on this game um, yeah if you if you demand graphical fidelity that is on the cutting edge you don't want this game because <laughs> as you can see this is not cutting edge graphics. You know, it's an old game, guys. It's 11, 12 years old. You gotta cut it some slack. Um, if you demand your games be completely bug free, I think you're crazy. But if you if you do hold that expectation, this game will frustrate you because it's gonna lock up. It's gonna crash. Um, you know, you're you're gonna sit there with 100 guns and the most accurate sniper rifle in the game, which you're looking at it right here. And sometimes the bullets just, they just disappear. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck they go. <laughs> but they don't go into what I'm shooting. <laughs> uh, I've got a, uh, this is my go-to close range gun. Uh, it's the All-American. And I can, I can sit here sometimes and just empty entire clips into an opponent who's 15, 10 feet away. And nothing happens. And it just pisses me off. And now, again, I let it go because let me let me show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, this is this is gonna hurt, but let me bring this guy in here. I tell you what, I don't want two on me. Look. Okay, so let me hit a medic so he doesn't kill me. <laughs> Uh, where's my medics? There we go. Let's hit a stim. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Hey! Oh, crap! Oh, crap! <laughs> Boy, did I piss off the world. One behind me. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> reload, reload, reload. You see the bullets? It's not even hitting. Oh my god. <laughs> We're 
Where did that fucking talk about bring an army? <laughs> I like shit myself. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I, you know, I wanted to show you what can happen. And oh, <laughs> more. Of course. of course, there's more. Because why the fuck not? <laughs> well. It would seem that the Death Claws don't appreciate you going into their den and killing their mommy and their daddy. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. So. Look at that. Look at that. Ugh, so frustrating. It's just... Yeah. That, that just drives me crazy. Especially when they're walking and they're animating around like that. It can, it can be damn near impossible. To, to hit the sons of bitches. You know, you, you really have to try to, um, you know, like if you see three fiends standing, and if one of them's sitting, good luck. Uh, y you need to get all three of them quickly before they start to animate. Because if you don't, you can't hit the damn things because, the, the, because of the bugs. Uh, so, you know, if you play a game like The Outer Worlds, where the gunplay is just rock fucking solid it's just smooth it's just sweet how amazing the gunplay is in the outer worlds and i think the outer worlds doesn't get some of the credit it deserves for that slick tight well performing well behaving consistent gunplay that you get in the in the outer worlds and you don't get that here and you won't get that here and if that makes you angry, if that frustrates you, you might want to skip this one. Um, unless you love Fallout. If you love the Fallout universe, this is a game you must play. Um, let's talk about the DLCs real quick. I, I've, I've run the DLCs multiple times on multiple playthroughs, and I have to say they're a mixed bag. Uh, there's four. So there's Honest Hearts. That's the first one. You can run that around level 10. Honest Hearts is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Um, it's a perfectly acceptable, perfectly, let's just say a good, um, you know, like a 6 or a 7, somewhere in there. And for reference, um, the Operation Anchorage DLC from Fallout 3 is, in my opinion, pure, utter garbage, except for the loot. The only reason I put up with Operation Anchorage in Fallout 3 is to get the Chinese stealth suit and to get power armor training early. Um, otherwise, I skip it. I skip it as often as I can. Um, then there's, after Honest Hearts, then there's Old World Blues. Old World Blues is hilarious. Oh wait, uh, Honest Hearts had some good gear. So you might want to run it early in your playthrough. The next one is Old World Blues. You can run it around 20, I think. Old World Blues is one of the best written DLCs I've ever played. Um, and that's the thing about Fallout New Vegas. There's a lot of exposition. Okay, So you're going to get into these long, multi-threaded dialogues. There's going to be lots of skill checks in them. Some people like that. Some people don't. So that's one thing to think about when you're choosing this. Old World Blues has a lot of exposition, a lot of skill checks, a lot of dialogue. It does have a lot of gameplay, walk, you know, sneaking around, going around, shooting things, collecting things. Old World Blues gets really bad about back-popping. You will go into an area, you will clear it, you'll go inside, you'll come back out, and they spawn a bunch of bad guys right on top of you. Pisses me off hate it when game developers do that. I think it's cheap. I think it's lazy. Um, so Old World Blues is hilarious. It's very well written. It's got some good gear. This this amazing sniper rifle is in there. Great weapon. But um, the back popping is annoying and the uh, the exposition, the length of the exposition, the length of some of the dialogues might, affect, might annoy people who don't like that much dialogue. Uh, the third one is Dead Money. Dead Money is garbage. It is quite possibly worse than Operation Anchorage because there's no loot in it. There's money, but there's no loot to be had, per se. Dead Money strips you of your gear. 
and gives you these crappy, shitty weapons. Dead Money locks you in and you can't leave. And Dead Money puts these annoying um, uh, foes in front of you that I just, I hate. Um, I hate the ghost people. I hate them with a passion. I think Dead Money is incredibly unfalloutish. Uh, it is jarring in its in, the, in how much it contrasts the game that it's supposed to be a DLC for. I swear to God, I don't feel like I'm playing Fallout New Vegas when I'm playing Dead Money. I, f I hate Dead Money. I hate it with a passion. Um, so I might rank it lower than Anchorage just because it's just so bad. And then there's Lonesome Road, which Lonesome Road, I think you need to be 25-ish, maybe even 30. <coughs> Lonesome Road is very linear. That is, 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 it's not a bad thing. It's just different for a Fallout game. Fallout games are very, very open. You know, you can pick a direction and go. Uh, Lonesome Road is, is, you're, you're on rails. Um, but Lonesome Road has good writing, good story, uh, some interesting characters, good gear, good loot. Uh, the best armor in the game is in there. So this is in there, and the Elite Riot gear, which, in my opinion, is the best armor in the game. Um, and Lonesome Road has good story, good characters, um, lots of XP, uh, a good DLC, just it's linear. So, Okay, so I've gone kind of long. Um, but so Fallout New Vegas in 2020 is a must-have. Let's, let's just call it an 8 out of 10. But it's a must-have for fans of Fallout, for people who like lots of questing and like lots of dialogue with options, with meaningful options that impact the world. It's not for people who demand tight gunplay and an absolute, complete, total bug-free gaming experience. It's not for people who demand great graphical fidelity. Um, I like it. I love it. I, 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 yeah, yeah, I love it. Uh, 8 out of 10. Maybe eight and a half out of ten, something like that. Um, I don't think it's the best Fallout game, but I think it's damn close, and it's damn good, and it's a lot of fun. And if you can pick this thing, if you can pick up the the um, the Ultimate Edition or whatever for like twenty bucks, no brainer, absolute no brainer. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time.